Hi Dream Weavers, it's Keisha from the Enchanted Dream Catcher. Welcome back to a, another video. So in this video I just wanted to provide you with some ways that you could do still sort of practice witchcraft when you have um, low energy on your uh, or have no energy as sort of like low-key ways to still be practicing so let's do it so one of the first things or one of the things that I like to do that's a low-key way sort of low effort low any like low effort witchcraft is when you're showering imagine the sort of water raining down on you and visualize um cleansing you and the water washing away all your sort of um negative thoughts and negative vibes and any sort of troubles and things that you're having and that you're stepping out and when you finish your shower you're stepping out the shower new and refreshed and ready to tackle the day practicing self-care as and to help you learn to love yourself and again this can be something as simple as having a sh having a nice long hot shower or a nice bubble bath uh sitting with a with a good witchy movie or reading a good book anything that makes you feel good you could also carry if you have uh, new tools that you are wanting to integrate into your practice you could carry those with you as you go about your day to help you bond with them so if you have tarot cards that you or oracle cards that you're wanting to use or a new wand or a pendulum you could carry you could carry that either um, in your bag or your pocket obviously safely so you don't break it just to sort of start to develop that bond also as well your morning drink whether that's a uh whatever you first make in the morning a coffee a tea a hot chocolate smoothie i don't know whatever you drink in the morning you could um bless that for your day so you have a good day ahead by thinking positive thoughts and stirring clockwise as you do during diesel also as well you could to help sort of charge and boost yourself and your spells and your rituals you could use uh, music for the sort of boosting and cleansing purposes uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be ethereal witchy um witchy sort of vibe music just anything that you feel that uh, calls to you and feels beneficial to whatever um, intention you're trying to put out there also as well using the last five minutes before you go to sleep uh, to meditate I feel like this one is a very very sort of good one is it helps to sort of settle your mind and as well and it also I feel like as we go about our daily lives our minds get filled with so much clutter and stuff and things that have happened to us throughout the day that it is a good way for you, for you to sort of um switch off for you to sort of help to sort of process and just sort of help to offload and so you have a sort of better night's sleep and feel more sort of refreshed for the following day um you could sort of do any sort of herbal tea magic so i um, would love to learn tea leaf reading that would be awesome I do have some books on it I should start trying to uh, get into that properly but you could look into doing something like that is that can be a low effort sort of um, low effort magic and learning looking in when you've um, had some loose leaf tea and you've drank it looking into the cup and seeing what the leaves reveal also as well carrying sigils with you that sort of match your intention for the day so each day i think it's fun to sort of set an intention for that day of what you want to achieve or want to happen and you could create or find a sigil that resonates with what um 
your intention is and carry that with you whether that's digitally on your phone or laptop or whatever you're carrying with you or whether you've uh, hand drawn it and put it in your wallet or you could trace it on your body with a lotion or perfume or oil however you want to be creative and do that also keeping a journal is a good one especially if you if you feel like you can't work on your book of shadows at the moment like for whatever reason you feel like you can't can't work on your book of shadows so some so keeping a journal of how you're feeling and your thoughts and what you want to do what you want to achieve in your craft is a good way to um so you don't sort of feel like completely lost and it's some time also with book of shadows i know we want them to look nice and look beautiful and put effort into them and if you're really just not feeling it it's so it, sometimes it can be more beneficial just to scribble something down in a journal or do it you could do it digitally doing like voice notes or whatever and then you could always transfer those into your book of shadows like at another time when you feel more motivated or whatever also as well using herbal soaps instead of herbal baths like herbal herbal baths are like awesome and stuff but they do or can take a lot of work and preparation and the clean up afterwards is not fun so instead just having a bar of soap with the herbs that you wanted to use ingrained is just a much quicker and easier way of of um incorporating the herbal, herbal magic that you wanted to incorporate into your into your practice so i hope that i have given you a food for thought and a couple of different sort of low-key ways that you can practice your witchcraft every day when you feel a bit sort of lacking so yeah if you have any other suggestions of different other like other different sort of low-key ways that you could practice i would uh, love to hear them so pop them in the comments below or message me or however you feel you want to contact me so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted Mwah.